Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 201. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so I've just got a couple finished objects, and I've got four works in progress, so let's just get started, and I'll show you what I got done this week. Okay, so for my first um, finished object, I have the Premi Hat number four for my month, My, I mean, for the month of April. My goal is to do four Premi Hats per month, all the way up to October, so then I will have 40 um Premi hats done for the Halloween hat drive that occurs here every year at one of my local area uh, NICU departments, one of the hospitals. And so uh, here is my um, Premi hat number four for the month. Okay, so I, what I did is uh, I talked about how I had some of that ball of yellow that I was working on. I had some left over, so I ended up doing another B hat. So here is another one of my little bumblebee hats. <laughs> I just think they're so cute and um, like I said I used a pattern from cream of the crop crochet kind of as a guide for the beanie and then I just came up with the antenna um, myself and so there you go. <laughs> so I got my um, four hats done for the month so that's awesome. <laughs> okay so finish object number two I did another one of the squares. Uh, this is the B squared crochet along that Jill of the fi of Fiber Floozy Crafts is hosting. She's doing a tutorial teaching a different type, a different granny square or type of square. Um, I think she's going to have a total of 63 in the crochet along. And so uh, this, I believe, is square number 14. And so I got that done. It is the seed stitch. So there is my square. Okay. For um, the B squared crochet along. <laughs> okay, so I am uh, doing these. I think this is, um, I've just got just a few more to do, and then I will, should be able to put them together and make a small little blanket. I have to see, I have to lay them out and see. Um, because what I'm doing is I'm doing the I'm doing the squares, but then instead of waiting to the end and putting together a large blanket of all 63 squares, I'm going to be putting them together in smaller sets to make smaller like child size blankets, and then I whoop, dropped it, <laughs> and then I will donate it uh, to probably Project Linus or one of the um, crochet groups that I belong to that accepts donations for. Um, kids blankets. <laughs> okay, so that was finish object number two. Let me grab it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this is the B squared cow. I will list it. I will put a link th below in the description box where this B squared cow, uh, there's a playlist of the blankets that she's, I mean, not blankets, the squares that she has done tutorials for already. Uh, I'm still behind, but that's okay. <laughs> um, if it, it's a real um, awesome crochet along, I think, because you can you learn a lot of new stitch patterns. So um, that's that's good. I always like to learn new stitches. <laughs> so check that out if you are, are wanting to learn some new stitches. <laughs> okay, um, that is my finished objects, and so let's go on to works in progress. Okay, so last week I showed you that I was working on a grain square blanket. This is the Tune My Heart. Uh, blanket and it's made by Tossed Waves Designs is the name of the designer and uh, let me show you the progress on it that I've made make sure I show you to right side up <laughs> okay oh well before I do that let's I'm gonna go ahead and put in a picture right here of what the blanket is what the pattern is a picture of the pattern uh, so that way you can kind of give an idea of what the blanket is supposed to be looking like okay so here is the picture right here <laughs> Okay, so that is the Tune My Heart blanket, and uh, now I'm using different colors. I'm just picking out colors. I am using a DK weight or baby weight size yarn, and I am just using uh, pastel colors that I picked out. Uh, basically, well, I started out with basically, I was thinking doing just girl colors, but now I think I'm going to put a few other colors in there, but they'll be pastel colors, so let me show you. <laughs> So this is what I've done so far. I don't know if you can 
see let's see am I sh showing it right yeah okay so can you I don't know can you see the heart that's forming okay this right here it would be like the top part of the heart and so as you can see I have one square this one right here that's got to do a half granny square that's going across there and that will be the the end of any of the white that I will have to do and then the rest will be um, they're all half half or two-tone grannies and so the rest will just fill in around the heart okay so that is my progress so far and as you can see I have picked out uh, variegated right there that I'm using so I'm not using all solids um, it's just some yarn out of my see if you see some little open spots there it's just some I pulled out of the uh, of my collection of baby baby weight yarns <laughs> okay so that's what I'm doing so far or that's how much I've done so far so it's coming along <laughs> Um, I'm enjoying it. It is a join as you go project and so um, I will link below uh, a, a link where you can download the, the pattern. Um, I, I really enjoy that it is a join as you go um, because you don't have to join all the squares at the end so that's good. And I am weaving in all the ends as I'm going so that's good. <laughs> won't have a lot of tails to have to weave in later. Uh, that stitch marker where is it right there that's just uh, reminding me which side is the right side when I go to joining the squares together uh, or joining a new square onto that piece <laughs> okay so that is my progress on that uh, my pro uh, whips, works in progress number two is the knitting project that I was telling you about last week I am um, I found a, a found this tutorial here on YouTube. The name of the YouTube channel is called Noble Knits and I will link it below. And anyway, she had a, a beginner friendly uh, knit pattern that I thought was really cute. Um, it, and it used, she just used like one skein of, I believe she used a Lion Brand cupcake. And the reason I, uh, thought I would try this pattern for one thing I hadn't knitted in a long time and I like to mix things up just a little bit so I thought well uh, I'll try this it's all garter stitch except for one stitch in the middle that is a increase stitch but um, it's not too it's, it's pretty easy to do anyway so it's all knit stitch which is great um, I had this one skein pull it up here I had this one skein of lion brand mandala and this is the colorway Valkyrie see that and I only had one skein because I had used I think I had three skeins in the beginning and I used two of them for a baby blanket um, a while back that I gave um, it was one of my husband's co-workers had a baby or his wife did and so I gave them a baby blanket and a little rabbit that I made and so um, that is the colors I used for the blanket and so I had this one single cake left and so this pattern uh, goes along with that I mean it not goes along <laughs> she used one cake and so I thought well I've got one cake of this Valkyrie I wanted to use it on something and so um, that's what I'm using and doing for this project. Okay, so what it is, it's a mitered, mitered square blanket. And you just start in the in the corner <laughs> and you just expand out until you finish the cake. Well, you, I think you go and she said to leave about five yards, five yards left of the cake to allow for enough to bind, uh, bind off cast off <laughs> finish off <laughs> anyway so that's what I'm doing and I did a little bit more last time I, last week I just had a little bit um, started on it and I've done a little bit more at least I am into a little bit different color so let me show you my progress okay so there is what I've done so far <laughs> I am using size um, six knitting needles okay <laughs> um, with the cord in between <laughs> anyway um, as you can see I don't know if you can see that yeah see it's changed color from this light color and now I'm into like a little bit of a darker color there a darker shade but as you can see in the middle it seems like I have a lot of that one color before the color will change again so um, I'm thinking that this mitered square, the beginning square of it, is going to be a very large section of this type color. 
But anyway, I'm enjoying it. I just have it next to my chair um, when I'm watching, uh, you know, in the living room. And so I'll pick it up and I will do maybe two, three, four, something like that, rows on it while um, I'm watching something. And so I'm not in a big hurry to get this done. It's just something else, something different to give my hands to do. And um, I'm enjoying it. So I think it's coming out pretty good. I had, like I said last week, I've got one stitch over down in here. I don't even know if I'll be able to, you'll be able to tell it, in, you know, in the big scheme, large scheme of things, as long as I don't uh, keep messing up. <laughs> but I just have one, I don't know what I did. I don't think it's a drop stitch. It's just kind of wonky right there. I don't know what I did. But everything else is looking pretty good. I don't think I've messed up. Uh, anywhere else so <laughs> so anyway there you go and I will it's a tutorial I will link it below in the description box she has several uh, beginner friendly uh, knitter tutorials for some uh, in fact she has I know there's one or two other ones that are baby blankets of that use like maybe just one cake uh, I think this is gonna turn out really small like a car seat blanket or something um, but anyway uh, I, I, I'm enjoying her tutorials. I think very beginner friendly. <laughs> okay, so that is my works in progress number two. Okay, so works in progress number three is a pattern test that I'm doing for someone. Okay, so Michelle Estrada, uh, her YouTube channel is Pixie Marie Creates. I think that's right, and I will link it below in the description box. She designed a little baby bear pattern, and she was looking for testers, and so I kind contacted her, I think it was through Instagram where I saw it, contacted her and said I would love to test um, uh, test the pattern for her. I didn't have a whole lot of projects going at this moment since I, since I finished the ones for my grandbaby, the baby projects. And so uh, I told her I would love to test if she needed another tester. And she sent me the pattern and I started it already. And so I'm excited to show. She did say that I could show it to you show it uh, and what the pattern is going to look like even though the pattern is not available to be purchased quite yet uh we're it's i mean it's written but it's it, she it's out with the testers just to make sure there's no typos you know that sort of stuff in the pattern uh, and so um it's not available quite yet but it should be uh, available soon okay <laughs> so let me oh and before I show you what I've done I will show you what the pattern is going to be looking like okay or what the pattern okay so this is the um, picture of the baby bear amigurumi that Michelle designed okay so here it is Okay, so that is the baby bear amigurumi. Isn't it cute? I think it's so cute. When I saw it, I just, you know, I asked Michelle, please, I'd love to test it if you need somebody else to test because it's so cute. Uh, and I believe that now her, she did hers in Red Heart Super Saver stripes in the uh, retro stripes. I believe I recognize that colorway. Super cute, and I, I, if I would have had some of the retro stripes, I definitely would have did it in that colorway. Uh, I have some Red Heart Super Saver stripes, but my, I think I have Parrot Stripe, and then the other one I can't remember what's called Favorite Stripe. I don't know, but they're pretty dark, and so uh, I just uh, dark colored. You know, and like, like, see the bear, the not the bear, the cat, the uh, Mister Purse a lot. That is done with the parrot stripes back there on my shelf. <laughs> um, and I, I thought about doing that, but since I had already done Mr. Purse a lot in that, I decided to pick a different yarn, and that way it give you kind of a different look to see what the baby bear could pattern look like in another type of yarn, okay? So I did pick out a variegated. I've been wanting to try use this yarn that I was gifted by Terilyn. Hi, Terilyn. And I, so I, I thought I'll try it out and see what it's going to look like. So this yarn I'm using is Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver Pooling, okay? And this colorway is called Stillwater Pooling, and it's very pretty. It's got, is it showing up? Yeah, there it is. It has got purples and uh, purple, blue, two shades of blue and yellow and green. It's very, very pretty. Cool colors. Love cool colors. <laughs> and I just thought that would be really cute um, for uh, as a baby bear pattern. Uh, yeah, to be used as a pattern. So that's what I did. So um, usually the pooling 
comes out with the plaid design. See that on the label? I don't know if you see that. And uh, so I was very interested in to see what it would look like in the round uh, in in this pattern. So here it is. <laughs> so this is so far the the um, the bear's bottom <laughs> um, because the head and body is one piece. You know, like a, like a peanut shape, not peanut, but you know what I mean. It gets small. See how it got small? That's the neck, and then it goes up to the head. Okay. So anyway. Um, I think it's really cute. I like, I really like the patterning, the pooling or whatever, the way this is working up with this pattern. I think it's going to be really cute. Now, um, I'm going to do a white muzzle that will be put on the front face of the bear. And so I think that will just set that off really well. And so I'm, um, um, anxiously working on it or anxious to see how it's going to turn out because it's such a cute pattern and I have made Michelle's patterns before and she's a great designer and uh, I love the way she she does her patterns and so make sure I will and let's see I will link uh, Michelle's YouTube channel below okay and then I will also find a link to her Etsy shop and I will put that also below like I said the baby bear pattern is not available yet but she has got some awesome other patterns that are already in her shop so go ahead and check her amigurumi patterns out okay so that is my works in progress what is that one number three <laughs> um, is this uh, baby bear pattern that I'm working up I think it's gonna be so cute <laughs> so anyway oh I am using uh, this is worst to weight yarn and I'm using an F hook okay so uh, my pattern I think is going to be a little bit smaller than what Michelle's pattern is but I, I just prefer to use an F hook um, when I do amigurumi okay because it's just the way I crochet <laughs> okay so uh, let's go on to works in progress number four okay so I think last week did I show it last week Yes, I'm still working on Bernard, which is, this is the uh, rescuers inspired pattern, okay, of these mice that I'm working on. Let me pop the picture right in here, and you can see what pattern I'm talking about. Okay, so last week I had gotten Bernard's body uh, finished, well, yeah, his body part finished, and I needed to work on his clothes. Well, I did start on his clothes, and so here is what I've done so far. <laughs> As you can see, I've got one of his sleeves done. I need to get the second sleeve done, okay? And I still have his ears just pinned in because I want to make his hat first. And then once I get his hat on there, then I can. it will determine how wide apart I put the ears. Now, um, I was afraid that when I started doing the, the clothes, that the clothes might be too small because I tend to stuff amigurumi pretty firmly and so a lot of times when I do that of course it makes them that makes them bigger and so just as I suspected the shirt was too small well for one thing it was too it was a little bit snug I did get it on him as you can see but it was a little bit short it was like a crop top <laughs> and I was thinking well this is a turtleneck sweater turtleneck sweater it should not be a crop top <laughs> and so I did end up doing another increase at the bottom and then I think I did two more rows just to uh, get the length down further I looked online as at images of Bernard okay and he did have kind of a, a little bit of his tummy showing and so uh, I just bring brought it down a little bit more so I think I got a good length on the shirt. <laughs> and then, like I said, I have just finished the sleeve, and now I need to do the second sleeve, and then do his hat, and then decide how I'm gonna do the tail. I had talked about last week where the original pattern has you use wire, and then you wrap the yarn around the wire and glue it, I think. And then that is actually serves as the tail, but when you put it into the body of the mouse and then the tail goes down, you kind of pose it, it works as a stand to stand them up. And so uh, I haven't decided, um, 
I may try that, see how it's working out. Otherwise, I'll just do like a chain for the tail, and then he will have to stand being propped up against something. So, anyway, either way, he's going to look super cute. <laughs> and then I will be doing, uh, I'm going to do this the, the body of the mouse again in white and turn that one into Bianca. So, anyway, that is my progress on Bernard. <laughs> okay. That is all my works in progress. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so let's see what's upcoming. Well, I was tagged in, uh, see last week I think I did a tag, uh, I had been tagged in a 10 questions video about yarn and I did that video, okay? Uh, I, I will link it in the description box below, okay? And um, so I was, I was tagged again by somebody else um, but in a new 10 questions uh, um, tag, and it's not about yarn, it's about hooks or favorite hooks. And so I'm going to be doing that tag video um, soon. Is, um, not sure yet, but in a few couple of days, day or two, whatever, I'll do that and have that up as, uh, as an upcoming video. I um, also have a tutorial idea um, to do just a little small, I don't think it's going to be a long one. It's not a particular pattern. It is a um, crochet skill. I don't know what you'd say. <laughs> but anyway, be looking for that. Okay? And uh, so I'll have that tutorial hopefully getting done and up within the next few days or next week. Something like that. <laughs> okay? And then, of course, yesterday I just did my movie and stitch video. I, I talked about the movie that I watched that starts with the letter A. G, no. Yes. <laughs> G. <laughs> and then I announced what movie I'm going to be watching um, that starts with the letter H. So I will list uh, link that video below in the description box cause, so you can see what that's about. Okay? <laughs> and then... So this upcoming Wednesday will be another Whip Wall Wednesday. And so I, I um, will show the progress on my new project that I'm, I'm going to be start working on uh, for that series. So that's upcoming. <laughs> so lots of stuff is upcoming. <laughs> okay, so somebody had asked me about uh, the baby shower for my uh, son and daughter-in-law. Now, I did post pics, pictures over on the... Um, Facebook group, but I know there are some people uh, that watch me here on YouTube that are not part of Facebook, and so I wanted to go ahead and post those pictures or insert the pictures here so you can see my son and daughter-in-law uh, receiving the gifts that I got for them for the uh, baby shower, and, and they love them, by the way. So here are those pics. This is my son and my daughter-in-law. Okay, so that are that was the pictures from the shower. We had a wonderful time. Of course, she they got a whole lot of other wonderful stuff. Uh, but I did want to sh insert those two pictures of the items that I had made for them. And so, thank you so much for asking about how the shower went. Uh, it was lovely, and we enjoyed ourselves very much. And now we are on baby watch. Um, she has a couple more weeks to, or well, two no three. I don't know something weeks to go we're getting close so uh we are just anxiously awaiting the arrival of our first grandbaby so we're ex excited to meet him <laughs> so i uh, just stay tuned and i'll let you know <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and uh, i thank you so much to all those that have subscribed to my channel and uh, the new people that have sub recently subscribed welcome thank you so much uh thanks to sarah sat she gave me an awesome shout out i really appreciate that and so those that have come over from sarah's channel i welcome and thanks so much for uh checking out my videos <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna go so everybody have a wonderful day wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video bye